what are the perspectives for patristic studies today? Are there any black holes or everything is done now and nothing else is to research now? I think what always happens in academic research is that the community moves on and there, there seem to be new questions that emerge all the time. And sometimes it's not always easy to see what those new questions will be. Um, I mean, one of the things that, that uh, has become very important in my own research is questions about how the fathers actually read and interpreted the Bible, which is so diametrically opposed to the sort of historical, critical work that has gone on, certainly in the West, for the last uh, 150, 200 years. And so the questions about the father's mindset, about the context in which they asked exegetical questions, and the ways in which they approached texts, which is so radically different from the way modernity approached texts, became very lively during the course of my career. And maybe that couldn't have been predicted when I was uh, a student. And I suspect that what always happens is that new things bubble up. But the most important thing, I think, is this interdisciplinary development, whereby uh, the fathers are seen much more in the broad context of their historical world. And you begin to understand what really made them tick, to use an English expression. I think one of the most important things that happened during the period in which I've been studying this area is that historians of late antiquity and theologians who are interested in patristics have come to see it as a subject where they need to influence one another. And I think it is extremely important that one is able to both enter into what the Church Fathers are saying through a kind of empathy which comes from uh, having some Christian confessional understanding, um, but at the same time to be in dialogue with people who look at the material objectively and historically. And most particularly, we need to understand how they were thinking in the context of their own time. And this is where uh, people who may not be Christian, but who are interested in the society and the ideas uh, and the culture of the period uh, are really important to be in dialogue with those who study the fathers for the sake of their theology. And, and in that way you can begin to get at the heart of what really concerned them uh, and then begin to ask questions about appropriation in what is a fundamentally different context. Now, it may not look quite the same way in the Orthodox world, where I know the fathers are almost treated like scripture and you, and you see nothing but continuity, but there is discontinuity, cultural discontinuity, between the world of late antiquity and the world of the 21st century. And, and those kinds of questions mean that hermeneutical questions are constantly coming back. And that, I think, is where the nub of the subject will be for a long time. I think it's most important to avoid being uncritical. I mean, to, to be able to ask questions is at the heart of what research is about. And I think there can be traditions of scholarship which become sort of parroting. Uh, this is what so-and-so said and therefore it must be right, and this is how we put it, and therefore we must have the right interpretation. Uh, whereas what really matters is to be able to enter into debate about what it means and how it might make sense to people who uh, are living in a different kind of context. So again, I come back to these hermeneutical questions as being absolutely fundamental to any real scholarship of engagement uh, with, with these great giants of the past. Thank you. Thank you very much.